Child, it is so hard to keep up with the drama. I tell you, the daily drama. Yeah, mm -hmm. grab your glasses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Grab your popcorn. Because Erica, oh, child, Erica is back at it again. To get comfortable on this couch because you know I'm about to talk to y'all about this about Erica and this is going to be a convo about self-esteem ignoring warning signs <laughs> okay <laughs> Nikki could have told you mm -hmm. guys supposed to bring the people closer together and I got a lot of gossip to tell you and I'm your girl pop culture goddess okay now hit that like button, comment below, help me get all up in that algorithm, and let's just go. <laughs> let's get into this hot, 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 crazy mess Erica got going on. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Erica <laughs> Eckermana says, it's weird. Safari Samuel made her a single mother, y'all. Mm -hmm. Not once, but twice, knowing her past. Let that digest in, okay? She said, Safari made her a single mother twice, knowing her past. You willingly had not one after he showed you what who he was. You had one child with him, right? He showed you who he was during that pregnancy and after that pregnancy. He showed you all his flags, red flags, and showed you who he was. And you went and did what, girl? Had another baby with him. Now, keep in mind, it takes two to tango and it takes two to get pregnant. So you made yourself a single mother twice. Matter of fact, I'm not trying to be funky with you, girl. I'm really not, Erica. I ain't trying to be funky with you, but real talk. Don't you got three kids? <laughs> I mean, like, you know what you say? <laughs> I mean, doesn't Erica Mena have three kids? Yes or no? That little girl got a bunch of kids, or is it just me? Let me just take a look. She got a bunch of kids, right? Erica got a bunch of kids. Correct me if I'm wrong. She got a bunch, right? Erica got a bunch of kids. No, well, Erica got one kid besides. The two she asked was Sister Safari. So now she got a bunch of kids because now she got three, right? Is she only claiming the two she had with Safari and just continuing to forget about the, the first child? Didn't the first child that made you a single mama, didn't that teach you something? So you didn't learn the lesson in the first go around? You didn't learn the lesson with all these dudes that you dated in the in the industry, them wasn't enough red flags to teach you what to not go for. So you then had another child. So that's baby number two. And then you turned around and had baby number three. So how are you blaming this man? It takes two to tangle. Blame, blame yourself. You made yourself a single mother and he helped you achieve that dream. Facts. So Erica Mena is past, is past believing she and Safari will ever be. That much is obvious. The Love and Hip Hop star said at the Atlanta reunion show, which aired on Monday, but she also shared how little she believes Safari cared for her during the pregnancy. She says, I was in the hospital bed with this man, with this man's son. You mean our son. That man didn't care if I made it through the pregnancy. That man didn't care if I made it through that labor. You didn't care if you made it through the pregnancy. You had that child with this man. You didn't care if you made it through that labor. Put you in it too. 
A judge signed off on their divorce in September after Erica filed in May of 2021. Safari will pay $4,305 in child support. Safari and Erica share joint legal custody of their daughter, Sapphire, Sapphire and son, Legend. Getting back to single status has been rocky for the ex-couple with online exchanges and accusations. As Erica shared her experience, seemingly holding back tears, she explained, doing motherhood alone for the second time. Don't oh, geez, third, second, third, okay. Like I had to drag myself out of the dark of a dark place with my first son because I had to hustle so much. I sacrificed so much time away from my firstborn that I'm still trying to make it up to this day. Oh my gosh, girl. How did you make it up by marrying Safari and not bringing your first son to live with you? I'll wait. I wait. Child. Ah. I wait. I mean, how often do you see her first child, her firstborn on Love and Hip Hop? I mean, I mean, we see the second, the the the, the last two she done had. But when how often do you see her firstborn child that is able to walk, talk, and probably make him a cup of room and ramen his own self? Eat up his own chef bar D. How often do we see him on that show? How often do we see pictures of him on her Instagram? But well, let's keep going on. That I'm still trying to make it up to this day. We can tell. Mm -hmm. Erica said, and this is the stuff that I confessed and been vulnerable with Safari about. That's why it's weird that he knows the traumatic experience of being a single mother once. And then he turns around and makes me a single mother twice. He he did this all to you, girl. Once again, we are on a you can't claim ownership of your ish. This is what it is. This is a lack of claiming ownership. As Abba and Abba and Preach would say, this is a sickness, man. It is a sickness, sickness. App and preach. It's a sickness. <laughs> it says you got to claim stuff, baby girl. Before Erica explained her pain, the host did ask Safari if he was in any pain seeing the clips of their marriage dissolving and hear Erica speak. You know, I always try to purposely numb myself from everything so that I don't feel pain. You know, I tell myself I don't care so that I can really believe it, but there is pain. Okay. So there is pain. Let's continue on. Mena says she, she's beyond expecting accountability from Safari. In her words, he doesn't owe her nothing, but owes their children. And that's all she said she cares about. Nothing is exactly what Safari was giving at first until multiple ca ca castmates stepped in. The reunion host and castmate, Little Scrappy, urged him to come on, but Safari seemed reluctant. Another castmate chimed in saying, grow up, to which Safari responded, shut the F up, to Shekana. And Shekana shot back, shot back, you can cuss me out, I'm cool with it. Again, Scrappy urged him to speak, bro, because there's somebody out there like him. Safari responded, I don't even know how to start. She kind of urged him again. Then Kurt Frost also encouraged him to share his experience. Let me tell you something. Kurt is the last mother effort that need to speak out and say anything 
after I'm having how many babies on Rashida? How many babies he done had on Rashida? How many times he done embarrassed and had Rashida um, have an egg on her face on that damn show? How many times have he cheated on that? Kurt Frost is the last mother effer we need to have speak. Okay, so here's my thing. Y'all rushed into this too quick. I honestly believe, you know, there is a, a Akon makes a video. And in this video, Akon says, if you're with a woman for about a year, you should marry her. I get it. I get where he, you know, what Akon's saying that when you're with a woman, you should marry her. You should not string her along. If you care about her, you're effing her. She's giving you everything that she got, and she is that G. You put a ring on it. I get it. But I think there should be a process. I think there should be more than two to three years, more than three. Maybe I think there should be a three-year limit of we get to know each other for three years and get we or even get engaged by the second year or engage by the end of the first year. And by the third year, we are, you know, living with each other. We get to know each other or something like that. And we marry. We make a promise to be married by the third year. I just don't think you should be having children in that time frame. I just don't. I don't. Four or five years in, you want to have a child? Fine. But you done pumped out two kids in this time frame. Two. The first one, he was already acting froggy. Why'd you turn around and have another? With so many... Uh, I just think, I think this was a rushed into relationship. This was lust. This was lust and would mix you with a little bit of love and it just should have never went as far as it went. I think it should have. If y'all would have lived together for a longer period of time, I think if y'all got to know each other a longer period of time, y'all would have separated. I just think that everything got rushed with this, but that's just my opinion. I look, I just had a problem with all these people talk, chiming in, okay? Because all of these people were so on so, some so F shit. At one point, little Scrappy, you was you was living a rolling stone life. You know, Papa, Papa was a rolling stone wherever he laid his hat, was a home. You was, you know, you dibbling, dabbling. Kurt Frost was dibbling, dabbling. So, yeah. Safari apologized for leaving after their son's birth. The father of two responded, who wants to get married, have kids, and then end up here? I wouldn't have thought two years later that 
is where we would be. We were just a place, we were just at a place of who could hurt who the most. And we were there for a long time. It sucks. Definitely sorry for the time our son was born and I left a week later. But here's the thing. So many people told Safari, so many people told Erica not to do this marriage. Everybody warned them. And there was warning signs. And I think they both ignored those warning signs about each other. I think the lust and the prove, oh, we gonna prove these mother efforts wrong. And the lust, the, 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 you know, the, you know, the physical overread the logical. So Erica interrupted saying it was days, not weeks, after Legend's birth that Safari left. As Erica continued to interrupt, both the host and the cast mates, like Bambi, tried to explain that he might not feel safe enough to speak. Safari's fin final word was that he hopes their relationship gets better. So what do y'all think? He is letting pride, foolish pride will be people's downfalls, okay? So he's letting pride be the downfall. You know, the reason why you threw the cheer, the reason why you mad, oh, because um, I had to catch a flight. I think the reason why. <laughs> I'm telling you, two people who should not have never been together, them two mother effers right there. Now it's too late. Now you got 
two babies involved, three kids, Erica, three kids, Erica. At this point, <sighs> child, focus on them kids. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, what y'all think? Comment below now. Tell me what you think about this situation right here. Okay, I know. Bye. Ooh, yeah. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and comment below. Hit that like button. Mm, mm, mm. I know this is a lot to unpack, but unpack it. I mean, let's talk about it. Okay. I think I might do it. I don't, I don't know. Let me shut my mouth. I gotta go.